So the concept of sleep and psychiatric disorders is a very important one because sleep is something that obviously we all need and is a very clear and objective measure of somebody's functioning. So whenever people ask me, what can I do to stay mentally healthy? I always bring up the idea of making sure they're getting good restful sleep and using the quality of their sleep as a cue and a measure of how well they're doing in managing all areas of their life and their levels of stress. And within psychiatric disorders, sleep can often be a sign and a symptom of various disorders. Both in depression, there's interfered sleep. With bipolar disorder, there's clearly problems with sleep. Various anxiety disorders have manifestations of sleep problems. And it's just a very useful overall, easy to understand, and very accessible measure for people to understand and have a sense of how well or how not well they're doing. There's definitely a connection between the quality of one's sleep and one's mental health. So in general, I would certainly recommend that people think about their sleep and not hesitate to get professional evaluation, not necessarily with a psychiatrist, even with their primary care doctor, but they should mention any details about their sleep that has changed or that is problematic, because it can often be a window into both psychiatric and physical illnesses.